Shalom. In today's video, man, I brought out the tapes. And I tell you, women love the saying, my body, my choice. And I want the daughters of Zion. I want black women to understand that it is your body. You do have a choice, but the choices that you make have consequences and repercussions. Man, I would advise all black women to not listen to the advice the carnal wisdom that black women that have shown their rebellion towards the Most High Yah's will, I would advise you don't listen to it. I would advise for your sake not to listen to any black women, you know, that don't keep the commandments, that don't fear the Most High Yah, that don't obey his laws, his statutes. Don't take any wisdom from them pertaining to relationships, motherhood, you know, marriage. Man, today's footage as I bring out these tapes is a doggone shame. And when you look at it, we have a lot of educated and ignorant sisters in our community. And you're gonna see the foolishness. Ain't none of it rooted in no truth, none of it. You're gonna see the advice that black women give other black women and you wonder why single motherhood is so prevalent in our community there's no accountability for poor decision making not exercising sound judgment look at how you use your body and i want you to stick around to the end because when a woman has baby daddies stick around to the end because you're gonna see the type of man that they will let hit it raw and listen to what he says all of the dusties, the dead beats are prime real estate for black women. They don't see nothing wrong with it. He don't have no job, don't wanna take care of his kids, already got baby mamas, and this is the man that you let bust all up in you because it felt good. Man, today's footage, I'ma ask the women that watch this to get out of your feelings because your feelings that stem from your flesh is what gets you in trouble. And I know, I, I often say it, man, men get canceled for trying to educate according to truth, women that don't wanna be helped, women that say they won't help, but uh, cancel culture if you are speaking truth. And out of everything that you're gonna hear these women talk about today, none of it is rooted in anything that the Most High Yah wanted for your life. The word says, I will have that the younger women marry. First order of business. I'm an advocate for that. Get married before you give your body up to some uh, low life that don't want no kids by you. The word says is the second order of business. I will have that the younger women marry. First order of business, bear children. Once you married in a covenant, bear children. Third order of business, guide the house to give the adversary no reason to speak reproachfully. Give the adversary no reason to put the blame on you. It's a sad state that the daughters of Zion are in, in their own rebellion. And there is women out here that didn't have no guidance, but realized I have to be accountable for the decisions that I have made. I tell you, it would do you some good as a woman to leave all the vanity, all the worthless stuff alone. What good is a what good is an education if your logic and ability to uh, discern? What good is your intuition as a woman if it doesn't allow you to walk in truth? You're going to hear some sad stuff coming from these women today that call themselves mentoring and coaching other women. Roll that footage. Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Shut Up Woman. And today we're talking about men. <laughs> men having multiple babies and different baby mothers. Um, or I guess you could say women with multiple, and multiple daddies. Uh, yeah, baby daddies. <laughs> Kids. Women with multiple daddies. I say my take on it is, uh, I mean, like, yeah, it can happen. No, I was talking about Oh. But it's camera. Okay, well, my take on it is, yeah, that it can happen, but I don't know. I maybe feel like one or two isn't bad. I don't know. You know, life happens. You buy One or two kids or Baby one or two. isn't bad. You know, sometimes you, like, make mistakes and you find your person or you find your person and then... I don't think that if a relationship works out for a woman and it happens to be her second kid's, her second baby daddy, per se, um, I don't think that's her fault because people, they start off with different personas and then you slowly kind of learn who they really are. So if you decide to walk away because that situation isn't healthy for you that doesn't mean that it's your fault that it didn't work out okay but so there's like four billion women on the planet mm -hmm. I'm a black American from Louisiana mm -hmm. I have the choice to, to, to have the pick of the litter mm -hmm. so why would I pick you if you have multiple baby daddies well don't pick me mm. I got my nails done 
yeah I wasn't getting my lashes but that didn't happen but I got my nails done anyway y'all as y'all can see by the title of the video today we're going to be talking about why having more than one baby daddy is not the end of the world my first reason why I would say it's okay baby girl you didn't give up on love like give yourself a round of applause yeah my number one reason is don't be mad because sis you didn't give up on love good for you girl you moved on and you had a, a baby out of it. Oh well. You didn't give up on love and I feel like that's great because choosing somebody, that wasn't a failed choice or a bad choice. So reason number two, girl, you healthy. Like I say healthy for the girls in the back. She healthy, okay? <laughs> that means when she get it off, a baby gonna come out. <laughs> you a whole God. You a whole God. <laughs> reason number three, girl, what Cardi say? Yes, girl. That's you got, you got some of that wop, that WAP. Beat it up. Extra large. Make a hook. Mm -mm. I don't know the words. I'm not even gonna lie. I only know the chorus. But yeah, boo, you got that wop. Ain't nobody about to keep messing around with somebody who got a whole bunch of kids if they ain't got some bomb ass. But I'm just saying. So my next reason, we gonna go to number four. Girl, don't don't think don't think you stupid because you're not, and don't try to play my sisters who got more than one baby that they like their baby father like they dumb because she not. Don't worry, sis. You ain't uneducated about birth control, and it's not that you don't know who your baby daddy is. So and you ain't trying to get rich off of child support. So who gonna stop you? <laughs> Do you, girl? Baby number six is the child of a married man. He's cheating on his wife. Okay, well, that ain't got nothing to do with me. That's his character. Oh, she's pissed now. Got a little attitude? You know how to have a baby. Do you know how to mother a child? Black women are availing ourselves to all of the options that our hard work and circumstances currently afford us. And that means that single motherhood by choice is going to be an option that more and more black women consider and even exercise. Because black women that have the privilege to embark upon this expensive and oftentimes lengthy process will increasingly decide to forego marriages and partnerships that do not serve us and that are not in our best interests. Well, frankly, it's a whole new world. A world in which black women are no longer subject to the desperation of being chose because now we get to do the choosing. But I, like the women you heard from today, go by the creed of no regrets. I have, and many black women have, too much love, too many resources, and too rich of a community not to share these gifts with children of our own. Children that will one day, no doubt, enrich and contribute to the next generation of black America. As you know, as a political commentator, single moms get a bad rap. It just sometimes bothers me how sometimes single moms just catch such a bad rap. Yeah. Like we are just out here just willy nilly having babies with anybody just because we don't have anything else better to do. <laughs> there she is. There she is. Okay. Excuse me, my name is Lisa. I have, I think, a unique experience. I have three sets of children. They range from 35 to 11. My children all have separate fathers. I have been very fortunate that with all four of the children and the three fathers, they have partnered with me every step of the way. For Joya? Yes. You didn't ask for another date with him. What was the turnoff? Specifically, the turnoff was when I asked that she question right about now. would you date a single mother? And Jacoby, you proceeded to tell me that basically you're a high value man and you are too good for a single mother. However, you did also tell me that you were raised by a single mother, which is profound for me to think that a single mother is not good enough for you, but it's good enough for a woman to raise you. That's unfair. And it's very insensitive to women out there who have children. All right, so just because it's a cycle, I wanted to, wanted to continue. It doesn't have so, to continue. So what I'm saying is, it's, is that it's more about why would you cut off and say that single women are not on the same level? What you're supposed to learn from is history. So you're a very intelligent woman. You're a very intelligent woman, right? Yes. So if you know, if, as a as a woman growing up, you know it's the less likelihood for you to be successful by having a child. So what you do, you be more proactive. Using condoms. What's that got to do with sure your that choice? You, okay, if you're getting Can pregnant, I, then all right, cool. Maybe I shouldn't continue with having this child because I'm not I, I'm not getting married. I should I a better chance of me having a successful life. You're just cool. I always remember this, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this is the first time I ever had a baby. Okay. 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 Okay.
When I tell you this time, listen. You listen. Yeah. Your mama had more heart than your dad. Sit in now. That's who made you soft, okay? Okay. <laughs> listen, I always remember this, okay? okay. <laughs> listen, when I tell you this time, listen. You listen. Yeah. Your mama had more heart than your dad. Sit in now. That's who made you soft, okay? Okay. okay. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. If you get food stamps, don't be ashamed about it, okay? Go in that damn store, spend them damn food stamps, and be proud about it, okay? Be proud about them damn food stamps, because the food stamps gonna let you eat. Let you eat, eat. I love my food stamps. I love my EBT card. I love it, I love it. Spend them damn food stamps and be proud of it. I got seven kids and seven baby mamas. Now, for the past few days, I've been going live, telling my story, speaking my truth. And a lot of women having an issue calling me a deadbeat because I tell them I was being irresponsible, yeah, not wearing protection. But I always tell uh, these women that I got pregnant that I do not want to be a father to these children. And I offer to pay for the abortion. Majority of times, they'll either take the abortion or they'll take a plan B. But only these seven have kept these children. But the crazy thing about it is they want me to be responsible for some children I told them I did not want. So for some years now, some of them been trying to get in contact with me, access denied, because I, I don't really know why you're trying to get in contact with me. I didn't told you I did not want them kids. So don't expect me to be responsible financially, emotional, spiritually, mentally, or physically with some kids I do not want. And I don't give a fuck when nobody think about it, you're not gonna force children up on me. Yeah, we both made the decision to lay down and have intercourse. We both was irresponsible about the decisions we made that night. Yeah, I could have pulled out, but I didn't. And I ain't care to pull out because I'm not the one that gonna have to carry a baby for nine months. It's the woman. In my opinion, women should be more careful on who they sleep with. But you're going to be like one of my baby mamas trying to find me so I can financially support a kid I didn't told her or them I did not want. Another thing is these just jump offs. These are the type of women that I ain't even had to do nothing for. The bare minimum, but they gave me access to their body and they think I want to be a, a father to a child for one of them. Like, I don't even have no type of love for these women. How do they expect me to love these children? Before y'all say, oh, he irresponsible, he a deadbeat, he don't take accountability. Yeah, I do. I just don't give a You ain't gonna force these children on me when I told you I ain't want them. Yeah, I can offer to a pay for abortion, but at what point can I force a woman to go get an abortion? I cannot. A woman say, my body, my choice, but I say, it's my life, my choice. Before y'all try to stitch this shit and be like, black man this, black man that, I don't give a I really don't.